Hello everyone, this lecture video is all about Columns Law and all the calculations pertaining to it. So, in the previous discussions, we defined Columns Law as the force of attraction or repulsion between two small charged bodies, which is directly proportional to the product of the two charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. From this expression, we have this mathematical expression of that statement, which is uh, electric force is equivalent to the electric constant, and the charge bodies over the distance between the two charge bodies. So here we have the F sub E, which is the electric force. And then we have here the small k, which is the electric constant. This electric constant is similar to the gravitational constant because as you can see, the equation is similar to the gravitational uh, formula, law of gravitational attraction. So we have here the electric constant, and electric constant is considered an important universal constant. Its value does not change considerably in air, and even when the substances other than air separate the two charges, the value does not vary very, very much. So this one is a constant one for electric. And then we also have here the Q sub 1 and Q sub 2, which are the charge bodies, and then the R squared, which is the distance that separates this bodies here. And then, as I have mentioned, the formula is similar to the Newton's law. I have here the meme for that. Anyway, before we proceed to the sample problems, I have here the letter C, the Coulomb. This is the standard unit for charge, which is Coulomb in honor of Charles Coulomb, and it is defined in terms of some properties of moving charges. Okay, this is the term for moving charges, the Coulomb capital C. For example, problem number one, if two charged bodies, each with 0.1 column, are placed 5 meters apart, what will be the force between them? We have the following given values. We have the Q sub 1, 0.1 column, and then the other body is 0.1 column as well. The distance between them is 5 meters given the problem, and then the constant or electric constant is 9 times 10 raised to 9 newton meter squared c squared or column squared. And then the solution for that is this one, since we are being asked to find the force between them or the electric force on this case, this is the formula. So all you need to do is substitute the given values for K, that is the electric constant, this is the value, and then Q sub 1 and Q sub 2 is 0 0.1 respectively both of them. The distance between them is 5M raised to 2. And then simplify 0 0.1 column times 0 0.1 column here, you will have 0 0.01 column squared. And then 5 meters squared is 25 meters squared. And then you also have here, multiply this one, 9 times 0 0.01, you will have 0 0.09 times 10 raised to 9. And then you have to cancel some units. You will be canceling the meter squared, cancel the C squared. You will be left out with the newton, which is the unit for force. And then you will have here 0 0.09 times 10 raised to 9 newton over 25. And then dividing that, you will have 3.6 times 10 raised to 6 newton. This is your answer. All right? Sample problem number two. If two charged bodies, each with 0 0.5 column, are placed 8 meters apart, what will be the force between them? So again, we are being asked to find the electric force. So, to find that, we have the given values from the problem. The charged bodies, Q sub 1 and Q sub 2, both are 0 0.5 column each. The distance is 8 meters. The constant or electric constant is 9 times 10 raised to 9 newton meter squared column squared. The solution for that is this. Then, substitution. Electric constant is 9 times 10 raised to 9 newton meter squared over C squared. And then, 0 0.5 column each for the Q sub 1 and Q sub 2. Distance is 8 meters raised to 2. Then simplify, you have 0 0.5 multiplied to 0 0.5 column, that is 0 0.25 column squared. And then the next thing that you need to do is cancel some units. You will be canceling similar units like meter squared, meter squared, C squared, or column squared, and then column squared. Then the multiply, multiply 9 times 0 0.25, you will have 2.25 times 10 raised to 9 newton, since you are left with the newton unit. And then over 64, dividing that, you will have 3.52 times 10 raised to 7 newton. This is your answer for the electric force. Sample problem number 3, we have here, how far apart are two positive charges, which are 10 raised to negative 8 column, if the force between them is 1.5 times 10 raised to 5 newton. So here you are being asked to find the distance between the two charge bodies given the force of this one. 
Alright? So, the given values from the problem, we have the Q sub 1 and Q sub 2, which are both 10 raised to 8 Coulomb, and then the electric force is 1.5 times 10 raised to 5 Newton. The electric constant is 9 times 10 raised to 9 Newton meters squared C squared. The solution for that is this one. Distance is equivalent to the square root of the electric constant and the charge bodies over the electric force. Substitution, electric constant for this one. And then you will have here the Q sub 1 and Q sub 2, 10 raised to negative 8. And then over the electric force, which is 1.5 times 10 raised to 5 newton. Simplify, 10 raised to negative 8 multiplied to 10 raised to negative 8 column. That is 10 raised to negative 16 column squared. And then... Multiply that. Cancel some units if you can. Yes, you may now cancel some units. Cancel the Newton unit here. This one, the Newton unit. Cancel the C squared. Newton here. So you'll be left out meter squared. And then multiply. You will have 9 times 10 raised to negative 7 over 1.5 times 10 raised to 5. And then divide that. You will have 6 times 10 raised to negative 12 meter squared, the square root. Get the square root of that you will have 2.45 times 10 raised to negative 6 meters. This is the answer for the distance. And then for your practice exercises, answer the following. All right.